What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today I have a really, really nice Vainglory Let's Play for you guys. So today, we are going to be playing as Galv, who is basically just a giant cat. He's really, really awesome, has a lot of damage, and is probably my favorite here as far as crystal abilities go in the game. So, the first ability that he's going to have is Hunt the Weak. This is his passive, and basically it means that every critical hit that he has, it actually cleaves the enemy in half, or it does AoE damage. So, uh, what happens is, he's going to uh, get crits like every every few hits and uh, those are actually going to do aoe damage which allows him to hit a bunch of enemies at once and it's very helpful for clearing waves in lane and right here i am going to be jungling with pedal who i don't normally like to jungle with the reason for that is that i really just don't like jungling with range units in general because they tend to uh, not take any of the damage but take a lot of the gold so um, i'm gonna have to take a lot of the damage here and it looks like i'm probably gonna have to use my halcyon potions pretty early in the game but Galb does have quite a bit of HP to begin with, so uh, it's not that bad. And obviously, having a helpful jungler is not that bad as well. So, moving on here, the first ability that I picked up was Afterburn. That's Galb's first ability that he pretty much will always get. And the reason for that is that it's really, really good for ganking. So, basically, what you're going to want to do is sit in a bush so you can charge up your other abilities. And uh, you can use Afterburn to close additions very, very quickly and use the sun on it to uh, pretty much disable anyone that you're attacking. So, a really great ability. And obviously, it has some uh, really nice uh, damage that it can do when you're uh, talking about taking people out in a line. So, if all the enemy's heroes are all in a line, you can do damage to them all in a line and then stun the final guy. So, definitely a really nice ability and uh, probably one of the best in my opinion. So, great for ganking. And if you guys are thinking about using Galb as a ganking jungler then definitely we're going to want to pick that up first now right here i thought taco was actually going to try and pick me up so i dropped a scout trap behind me just to make sure that uh, i was aware of who was coming in behind me but right here kashka was very very low on health and i was trying to see if she was backing so i went deep into the enemy's jungle uh couldn't actually see her but then i saw her pop up on a minion map right there or mini map not minion map and uh, we're actually going to head over here and do something Pretty stupid. We're going to use our afterburn ability right here, and we're actually going to stun and kill her right there. But since we're in the very beginning of the game, the turret was devastating, and it managed to take me out right there. But a good thing about that kill is that I actually ended up killing her, but she didn't technically kill me. Yes, I had to jump into a turret to kill her, which meant that I died. But she never actually got a hit on me, which means that she didn't get any gold for that kill. So gold-wise, I won that engagement, but uh, kill-wise, we traded. So looking at lane right here, uh, Ringo's very very low on health and it looks like Saw is pretty much full on health So Ringo's probably gonna end up backing and I'm gonna head into lane here and pick up things while he's gone so uh, Pretty much the worst hero that you can be facing other than cruel um, With this with this hero is probably Saw and the reason for that is that he has the slow ability um, I don't actually know what it's called But basically what it does is it just slows anyone in his path and it also does quite a bit of damage So uh, definitely gonna want to avoid that and if you can and you have your afterburn up Probably one of the best things that you can use to get out of that ability is to use your afterburn to just jump right out of the way and uh, Get right next to saw and pretty much just try and burst him down while he's stuck in that state now right here I tried to do that just what I was talking about But it didn't work out and it looks like Kashka and saw are gonna take me down to very low health So I'm gonna be backing and uh, even though I'm pretty much even on kills I am up in gold compared to my teammates so right here I'm going to head into the shop, and I don't know what we're going to pick up. Looks like a light shield. That's just going to allow me to sustain through a few more abilities from my enemies, and uh, obviously that's useful on pretty much any hero. Now, uh, it looks like Saw is getting a little bit too close to my teammate there. It looks like Ringo gave him a few love nips, or love taps. I don't know what those are called. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to come down here to the minion mine, and I'm going to take that out, no problem, because I have quite a bit of HP in the beginning, as I was saying. So uh, obviously in this video guys, you're not going to be seeing a face cam and the reason for that is that in one of my previous videos, um, I actually asked you guys, do you want to have better audio quality or do you want to have a face cam? And the general con consensus was that you guys would rather have that better audio quality and no face cam than the face cam and a little bit worse audio quality. So uh, I'm actually going to be picking up a blue snowball very, very soon. So definitely stick around for that. But in the meantime, I'm uh, probably just going to be going no face cam. So maybe in the future we'll go with a face cam. But for the time being, it's going to be a no face cam video. So uh, looks like I just jumped in there to see if I could get some love on a kill. But it looks like that's not going to happen. And my son ended up actually pushing Kaska really, really far away. But that being said, Taco is very, very down. Tried to 1v3 my team, and uh, we weren't going to have any of that. So, Saw is, again, being very, very annoying right here. And for some reason, 
I decided that I wanted to be a hero and you're gonna see what I did. So um, at first I was thinking, you know, I can take these guys on. Then I decided, uh, no, no, cannot take these guys on. So I tried to turn around, but I got taken out really, really easily there. And that was my death of the game. So this is gonna be a little bit of a comeback because we are already uh, negative as far as kills go and uh, we're not doing too great. So we're gonna have to mount a pretty major comeback here. And as long as my teammates don't screw up too badly, I should be able to uh, just do some farming and uh, build my items and pretty much just get ahead of my teammates that way because I really don't see any way that I can just um, get ahead of my teammates when it comes to kills. Now right here, since Taco was under the turret, she actually, uh, he, sorry, I know my genders, um, he actually was seen by the turret, which meant that we could see him. So his stealth ability was sort of useless right there and uh, it was kind of wasted. Now right here, we're gonna be chasing down Taka but he has that stealth ability and he's actually going to disappear and it looks like we're not going to be able to pick him up. And we were running in the direction that we thought he was going, but he was very, very sneaky and turned around. But he wasn't quite sneaky enough because he ran right past our minion mine and that's going to give us sight on him. And he's actually going to go down there and try and take out our minion mine, but uh, I don't think he has enough health to do that. So we're just going to let him go and uh, we might be able to pick up a kill from that. So right here, it looks like the two laners here, Kashka and Saw, are not going to be able to do much and we're just going to stay in the lane and do some last hitting and get some kills. Now it looks like the minion mine did end up picking on Taka, so that's very, very good. And looking in lane here, it looks like we're probably gonna be focusing down on Kashka because she is much lower in health than Saw is. So I'm gonna be using my afterburn once it comes up here in a few seconds, there it is. We're gonna use it right there. That's gonna hit her into a bush and me and Ringo should be enough to take her out right there. So that's gonna be a nice easy kill. And as I said, Saw's ability is very annoying, but he used it at a horrible time right there. And that's gonna mean that we can actually pick up a kill from him. So that's gonna put us two and two. We are now no longer hurting our team. And uh, we're probably not quite at the turning point of the video here. Uh, but we're definitely getting a lot better and hopefully with the next few kills we should be able to uh, become a little bit more of a threat to the enemy team so i'm gonna head back into the jungle here it looks like taka's right here and uh, i thought that i was actually just about to get destroyed but instead taka just decided to disappear so i'm gonna sit in this bush until i see her pop up on the mini map and now we're gonna be playing a little ring around the rosie here me and petal are actually going to be trying to trap her around this rock but Petal, I guess, didn't have a lot of communication with me on this one, and I used my afterburn ability, which sent Taka going the other way, but instead, Petal, Petal just ran the wrong way, so uh, Petal lost her right there, him, sorry, still not my genders, um, but it looks like that's not going to be an issue, because uh, obviously we've chased him away from the mini mine, and that's all we were really trying to do, so... Looks like Taka's gonna run back into lane right there, and now we're going to be taking out the enemies right here. It looks like we're gonna be going 3v2 though, and uh, we're not gonna be getting much love on that. So we're gonna die. We're gonna be going negative yet again as far as our KDR goes. And we're also gonna pick up some travel boots because that's gonna make us a little bit quicker. And obviously with Gav, you're looking for that speed. Now right here, that looks like that was gonna be a nice easy kill, and uh, we're probably just going to have to t hold the lane here for a little bit until I get back in. Looks like I'm now back in lane, and uh, Saw has very low in health, so he's probably going to be our next target. And Kashka is obviously very high in health and has a lot of burst damage. So we're going to leave her alone for the time being until we can build a little bit more defense, and then we'll probably come back to her. So right now, again, just looking for that kill on Saw, and uh, I was just just waiting for him to walk into the sucker right here. So I sat here for a little bit. Then looks like he did it. We're going to push him right, right back into Ringo right there. That's going to be a nice, easy kill for Ringo and a really nice assist for me. So... I think that probably counted as my kill as far as like damage goes and as far as initiation goes, but that's alright because we can head back in here to back to the jungle here and uh, we can do some damage to Taka. So it looks like Taka had a flare on him and uh, not quite sure if he knew what that meant because that meant that we could actually see him. He's not going to use his stealth ability, but that's alright because um, we chased him away from the minion mine yet again and as long as he doesn't take that, he's not going to get a bunch of gold and uh, get built too well. So. We did have our minion mine almost all right there, so it looks like that's going to be at about three force. And uh, I picked a fight that I definitely couldn't win there. It looks like their whole team came out to try and fight me, so I'm just going to run away, and Petal is going to have to uh, try and fight on his own. Looks like Ringo came down for the fight here, and now we're going to have to work some magic. I'm going to use my afterburn ability because that's going to cancel Saw's ability, and now all my teammates are going to come back and help me. So at this point, things are going to go pretty well. It looks like Taco was still in the midst right here, and he was very, very low on health. So we took him out, no problem, and now we're going to be chasing down Saw. Looks like Saw is incredibly low on health, and with Ringo's final ability right here, which has a good range, that actually was able to take out uh, Saw, and that's going to be a 2 for 0 kill right there, which is definitely worth it. 
So again, we are now even as far as my KDR goes, and that means that we're not hurting our team. Also, the gold mine is almost full, so that's going to be an extra 300 gold in the bank very, very soon. And since there's only one of their teammates left, I'm not too worried about that. So at this point, probably just going to go into lane here. It looks like Pashko wanted to fight me, and uh, I wasn't too keen on that because I was already very low in health. So I'm going to head over here. Pedal's going to help me out and defend me, and I'm going to go back to base and pick up some items because at this point, I already have 1,350 gold, and uh, obviously we can buy some pretty nice stuff with that. So we're going to head into the shop and uh, probably pick up the Void Battery because we don't want our abilities running out of energy anytime soon, and uh, it looks like that's going to be all we can pick up for the time being. So... We are now level, I believe level 7, so I couldn't quite see through the text there. But yes, we are level 7, so we're going to upgrade our abilities. And now we're going to head over here to try and take out Zod. Looks like this is going to be a really nice kill with the Afterburn. And now we can head over and try and take out uh, Kashka. Thought that I might be able to take a kill right there, but that wasn't going to happen. So instead, we're just going to sit here, farm the lane a little bit, and see if we can actually draw Kashka in. It looks like she's actually going to go for that. That was definitely not a smart fight, and uh, she got taken out and barely did any damage to me. So I'm pretty happy about that, and we're going to continue to pick up some farm and lane. So now we're at almost a 1,000 gold yet again, so uh, probably going to want to head down to the shop fairly soon. But for the time being, we can just sit in uh, the jungle over here, see if we can spot any enemies. And now that we're back in the shop, we can probably pick up, uh, I guess, some scout traps, which is probably a smart thing to do. And the reason for that is that Taka actually is very, very good when it comes to stealth. So if you can drop some scout traps and just light up her running paths, his running paths. Wow, I, I don't know what's going on with my genders today. Uh, but if you can light up his running paths, it makes it a lot harder for Taka. And it basically takes away one of his abilities. So uh, probably one of the most important things you can do when you're facing Taka and uh, I'm definitely happy that I did it in this game because it definitely led to a bit of a turning point. Now right here, it looks like we're going to be taking out Kashka right here. We're almost going to chase her down, but she is going to get away. So she's very, very low on health. We're almost going to get to her, but I haven't quite built my final boots. So uh, not going to be able to chase her down. And it looks like we're going to have to run away from that one without a kill. But that being said, it looks like Sa is going to try and challenge me. And uh, I'm perfectly done with that because I have my whole team with me and it's only him. So instead of uh, basically completely running back to base, I'm going to use my afterburn ability. And that's going to be able to stun him and allow one of my teammates to get the kill and for me to get the assist. So a pretty nice kill right there. And uh, obviously Saw was out of his depth when it came to that fight. Now I'm going to be coming down here. It looks like Taka is trying to steal one of our monsters, but we're not going to have any of that. We're going to come over here and take him out. It looks like he's going to be very low on health, and I'm actually going to pick up a really, really cheeky kill right there, guys. I definitely should not have gotten that kill. I believe that was 100% pedals, but it counted for me, and uh, obviously that's more gold in my bank, so I'm not going to complain. Now, I wasn't quite sure when I, what I wanted to pick up, and I was looking through, but I decided that a Shatter Glass was probably most useful, and the reason for that is that Galv is a very crystal-based hero, and the reason for that, or the, the kind of reason that I say that is that uh, he has a lot of really, really strong abilities, and as you're going to see right here, I'm actually going to try and chase Saw all the way into the enemy's base, but it looks like my friend uh, Ringo over there, sorry, I couldn't see through all the fighting, it looks like my friend Ringo is going to be able to take him out, and we're also going to be able to take out Taka, or rather Kashka. I know the names of my heroes. I am not that bad at this game. <laughs> anyway, we're going to have to run back now because Taka has come into the midst, and uh, it looks like we're going to be able to chase him away, but we both have taken quite a bit of damage, so I'm probably going to have to head back to base pretty soon or pick up some healing. So just checking that bush over there, making sure that Taka hasn't stuck around, and now we can pick up some gold from lane and uh, pretty much just waiting for those last hits and using my abilities to speed things up. So... Not too hard. It looks like we're at almost 800 gold, and Saw is now going to jump at me right here. I got pretty low on health, and I was not too happy about that. So I'm going to head back here to the right side of the turret. And the reason that I want to go to this top side is, the, is that anyone in the jungle is going to have to run all the way around the turret to get me. So uh, it makes it a lot safer when backing. So just a little tip there. If you are backing, always to that side of the turret rather than the one that's closer to the jungle. Unless you're trying to draw someone in to try and attack you when they probably shouldn't be. Now right down here, it looks like the enemies were, my enemies were trying to take out the gold mine right there. I'm probably just going to have to let them because I don't have enough speed built and there's two of them and only one of me. So came in here with my ability ready. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to use afterburn to get away very quickly. But instead we're actually going to go after Kashka right here and this is going to be just a complete destruction. So first we took out Kashka, no problem. Now we're going to have to run down Ringo. Uh, I believe I said that wrong. No, now we're going to have to run down Taka. 
and uh, it looks like he's actually going to hide behind the monster right there. Don't know what that was all about, but I'm not going to complain because that's a double for me, and this is going to be a uh, little bit of damage done to the monster right there. And it looks like Petal's going to pick up the healing, which I don't know why she would think that she deserved that, but I'm not going to complain. And it looks like as we were taking out the gold mine there, the cracking came up because that comes out up every 15 minutes in the game so if you guys didn't know and you think that you should be taking out the gold mine definitely look to see if the kraken is going to be coming up anytime soon because if it is there's really no point in taking that gold mine now right here it looks like we're going to be running down kashka she is already at full health and uh, i'm going to use a really really nice afterburn to stun her and uh, just jump right on it right here it looks like kashka is going to be stunning me with her ultimate but ringo's going to come over here to help me out and now things are going to get pretty deadly for kashka so uh, Kashka's going to keep running, just keep running, and uh, I'm probably just going to have to wait for my speed and my afterburn ability to catch up to her, but it takes a few seconds for my ability to charge up, so I'm going to catch up to her right here, use a regular auto attack, then I'm going to use my ability to take her out right there, that's going to be my 8th kill of the game, and that's going to put me over a 2 KDR, so uh, really nice kill right there, and that's definitely worth it for me. Now looking at the lane right here, obviously Saw is full health and I am not, but I'm not too worried about that, and as long as Taka doesn't join the party, I shouldn't be in uh, too much hot water right here. So I'm just going to sit in this bush, make sure that they don't come after me, and uh, hopefully I can get a really nice hit with my afterburn. Looks like it wasn't that great because I didn't hit her directly into the turret, but it did get Taka definitely out of where she wanted to be, and now I'm just going to be able to sit over here by the turret and uh, try and get the turret to hit some of my enemies. So it looks like Taka is going to try and run all the way around the turret to get me. Don't know what that was all about, but I'm not going to complain because that was 150 gold for me and my ninth kill of the game. So uh, not too bad, and we're going to head back here to probably back fairly soon because we're low on health. That being said, it looks like there's very few enemy heroes left on the map, so uh, maybe we can actually get an ace and go for the gold mine. Oh, at this point, the Kraken. So uh, we have over 17,100 gold. Wow, if we had over 17,000 gold, I would be set for the game. Uh, but that being said, we're probably going to get a little bit extra from taking out uh, Saw right there. Looks like that's 195 for me and a nice easy kill. He probably had no chance at that point. And unless he had run straight back to his turret, I don't see any way that he could have won that engagement but right here it looks like we're going to head over here try and take out this turret because once we take this one out we have pretty much complete control of their jungle and that makes the win a whole lot easier it also means that we can take out their uh kraken a lot easier as well so i was actually heading down here to go to the shop but instead i saw the koshko's running away from pedal so i decided to help out and i'm going to use my uh, afterburn ability to hit her right into this mini miner here which was actually shooting at me but that's not too much of an issue and uh, even though taka showed up i'm actually going to get away and i'm probably not going to die because i had a bunch of uh defense built so at this point i'm sort of just looking for uh someone to try and ambush me and i can turn on them but it looks like that's not going to happen so i'm going to head into the shop here i'm going to pick up I have no idea how to pronounce that, guys. I'm not even going to try. It's the shield that allows me to take more hits from the enemy's abilities, and uh, we're just going to leave it at that. Now, at this point, I did have these monsters over here, so I'm going to pick them up really, really easily. Not too much to say about that, and uh, it looks like Taka is actually going to be running away over there, which he is going to be using his uh, stealth ability, which is going to mean that he basically just disappears. So at this point, I was very, very little on health, and I had to use my shield right there to make sure that I didn't take too much more damage. But I saw an opportunity. I knew that I was going to die, but I also knew that I could take out Taka. So that was like a probably one of the best trade kills that I've ever done in this game. Because I was getting 1v or 3v1, and I still managed to pick up a kill. So I'm so proud of that, and uh, I think that was probably one of the best kills of the game. But moving on here, it looks like we're going to pick up some scout traps so that we can just sort of decrease uh, Taka's ability to run through our jungle without being seen. And hopefully that's going to give us a little bit more vision on the Kraken. So... Looking right here, it looks like Taka is going to get completely just destroyed. Really nothing that he could do about that, but that is going to mean that we only have one here left, and that's going to be Petal sitting right in there in that bush, making sure that they don't try and take the Kraken. So at this point, I am now back in battle. Looks like I'm doing pretty well. At this point, I'm about a 3 KDR, so obviously a big help for my team, and uh, I'm happy with how this game's going considering the start. Now right here, I'm going to use something that I really like to do. It does, it's like easy farming. We're going to use our afterburn, then we're going to use our a blood song, which is our ultimate, and that's basically just going to allow us to completely destroy that minion wave and uh, get a really, really um, easy amount of gold right there. Now right here, I was actually thinking that I could take out Taka, but he used his stealth ability, and he's going to get away very, very easily. I'm also going to drop some stealth traps over here, some scout traps, not stealth traps. Uh, but that's just going to allow me to get some more vision and make sure that Taka doesn't get away this time. So right here, it looks like we're taking out Taka, and uh, he's going to be using his stealth ability, 
but he was not very smart and he actually ended up sticking around so we'll see that later in the battle right here it looks like Kostya is going to be our first victim though so she is going to get taken out right there for a uh, really really nice assist and now we're going to have to come back up here and take out Taka so Taka is very very low on health and uh, it looks like we can actually take him out and the reason for that is that he was under the turret which meant that his stealth didn't apply and uh, that he was seen by the turret so he took a few turret shots he took a few shots from us and that was a nice easy kill now we're just going to head back into lane here. It looks like this turret is basically done as far as health goes. And so I was thinking that he could sit by that turret and back, but we're not going to let that happen. He's going to be canceled, and we're also going to take that turret right here. That's going to put us at around 2,000 gold, and uh, that's going to mean that we're probably going to want to head back to the shop fairly soon. But before we do that, we're going to head over here to the minion mine and take that out. And obviously, we're going to want to wait to the very end to use our blood song ability because that builds the more stacks that we get and the stacks i believe are just auto attacks and i believe that they don't actually count if you use your abilities not quite sure about that though so don't quote me on it now right here we are over 2000 gold so that means that we're probably gonna have to pick up some sort of build right here not quite sure what we're gonna want it looks like we're gonna pick up some journey boots and we're probably gonna head over here and uh pick up a i don't know what else we're gonna pick up um looks like yeah i have no idea what we just picked up there but that doesn't matter because uh, we're just going to sit in the bush over here and hopefully we can get a nice ambush. So uh, it's really odd that I didn't decide to buy anything there, but I guess I was setting up for something and we'll see that later on in the video. Now all I'm doing right here is defending the Kraken and waiting for the enemy to try and take it. So as long as we're waiting in this bush, we know that the enemy isn't trying to take that Kraken. And it looks like uh, Ringo's going to sit down here, but he's actually going to be running straight into our trap. So uh, there's three of us and only one of him. We also have the minion mine on our side. There's practically no way that he can get away. And it looks like that's going to be a really easy kill for Ringo right there. Moving on here, it looks like this is going to be a nice big team fight, and we are already up a player, so things are going to go pretty well for us. I uh, disabled Saw right there. Looks like he's going to try and run away, but we're going to have to chase after him here, and we'll see if we can actually chase him down. So we're waiting for our afterburn ability to charge up. He's going to use his speed ability right there. Um, it's something to do with a knife. I don't actually know quite what it's called, um, but we're not quite going to chase him down right there, and it looks like he's going to get away with barely any help. So... A little bit disappointing, but that being said, I think we went about two for a zero on that fight, so definitely worth it for us, and that's going to be enough to allow us to take out the Kraken right here. So this is going to be really, really easy. We have a lot of damage built as far as our team goes, and uh, it's not going to be an issue to take out the Kraken. So first things first, we're just going to sit here and take out the Kraken, start capturing it, and once it gets pretty much all the way captured, we're going to check the bush over there, and the reason for that is that we don't want the Kraken to get stolen. So you see right here, the Kraken is almost completely captured. Then I saw that Saw was coming, so I'm going to use my afterburn ability to actually um, just sort of stun him away and make sure that he doesn't get to steal that. So that was pretty good, and obviously that could have gone very, very wrong if we had lost that to him. That being said, he's kind of screwed at this point because it's our whole team against him, and uh, we are have a uh, Kraken on our side. So I'm going to use my stun right there. Looks like I took out him with no problem. We're also going to be able to take out that minion mine. And uh, now we're just going to be going for the win because there's only three turrets left on the enemy side and at least one of their players is respawning. So I'm going to head into the shop right here. I'm going to pick up an Eve of Harvest and I'm also going to pick up an Hourglass because I'm building towards the Clockwork. But I don't think we're actually going to need that because we're busting through these turrets like they're something that's easily busted. Can't think of anything right now. But right over here, it looks like Petal is getting completely destroyed. Uh, but that's not going to be an issue because we've already taken out Taka. And now it's just going to be a 1v1 between me and Kashka. And I believe that I can win that fight. So Kashka is going to try and run away. But we have our afterburn ability up. So we're going to hit her back out. And now it's going to be a really, really clutch kill right here. So it looks like our ultimate just got up. And we're going to use it right there for a really nice kill. That's going to be 195 gold. And I was actually thinking about running away. But then I decided, you know, the whole team's aced. And there's no point in running away. So we're going to help out the Kraken right here to take out these final few turrets and hopefully the vein crystal so looking at things it looks like we're going to take out that first turret without an issue saw is now up and he's going to be doing quite a bit of damage to the kraken so we're going to have to come over and uh, annoy him right here we're going to use our ultimate or not our ultimate we're going to use our um, afterburn right there and that's just going to allow us to cancel his ability and now we're just going to be defending the kraken so as you can see we took out that second turret now the kraken's going to be banging away at that uh, Bane Crystal right now, and we're just going to be sitting over here taking damage from Saw, and uh, hopefully just making sure that he can't take out the Kraken. So now that we've pretty much chased him away, we're going to use our final ability right there, and that's going to be enough to take out the Vein Crystal, and that's going to be enough to win the game, guys. So thanks for watching. If you liked, remember to leave a like and become a Lieutenant today, and I'll see you guys next time.